Hello and welcome back everybody, it's Abdullah Ashraf from Self Engineered and in the previous video again we have talked about the CSS of our app and then we had some visual HTML with CSS nice looking uh, Instagram template for our Django app in this video I want to solve the image problem so each post every time we make a new post we can see the image of that post into the front end <clears throat> and in order for us to do that we need to work with media files and image files and we need to know how do we how can we manage them in our Django application and in order for us to do that let's jump back to our code and we'll see what is going to happen I'm just going to stop my webcam and directly run, in, run into Visual Studio. And the first step I am going to do is that the all the image files and all of this stuff is going to be saved in a new folder that we are we are going to make, and it's called it's called media file media yeah media folder or something like that first thing that I want to start is actually by initiating the media URL into our setting.py so go to settings.py the main settings file from insta clone if you have the same naming as, as I do and then you'll find this file here which is here and then I'm going to call upon media underscore URL and I'm going to say that is linking to media like just like that and this is a new folder that I will be uh, making you know in a short while after that we also need to connect it to also something called media URL as well so actually not media URL I mean media root And that is going to be equals to it's not this it's going to be equal to os dot path dot join and the media root is going to be base dir base dir and then with an extension of media this should be small letters just like this and I think we are done here with the media file inside of our inside of our settings.py and even you also need to make sure that you already have the you already have the image uh, variable here inside your your class the image object here and it's a mod is from models and then we have an image field and we are setting the uh, like that the default values or something like that if somebody didn't give an image do not throw an error or something so it's like we are fine not having an image well that is for now once we get our app more complicated we are going to remove these stuff but you need to have this inside alright once we did this now we need to go to the URLs but not this uh, URL we need to go to the URLs from our uh, main main Django app here in Stackclone. I will go to urls.py here and inside of this I am going to add the following I'm going to say plus static and inside of this I need to have um, I'm going this settings dot I'm going to link back so like this is just me adding the uh, the main URL patterns to my Django app application so that whenever uh, I call upon an image and then I'll say image that URL and then Django will be looking for the URLs from 
the URL pattern which is from URLs.py and this will eventually go back to my settings.py and then grab me that image from the new media file that I'm going to initiate in a while and this uh, so I'm going to say media URL underscore URL just like that and then here I'm going to say document underscore root and that is going to be equals to settings dot media underscore media should be in a capital media underscore root just like that and before I finish from this uh, things here, I need to I need to import some of these stuff. So I need to import the settings and I need to import the static function. And for me to do that, I'm just going to call uh, from Django. I need to stop this. And from Django dot conf dot urls dot static import static and then down here I'm going to say from django dot conf config import settings This is going to import the settings, which is this, and from static, this is the static function. That's all I need. And now I need to come all the way back here to this root and then make a new folder. I'm going to call this media. Just like that. And this media folder is going to contain all of our images and stuff like that. So save all of this. and currently the way we actually deal with our app is that alright we got an error and what does it say is that basedir.media here and that is an, an error we got let's see what did we do wrong we need to go back to the settings media root is equal to basedir. I think this should be like that save and then I will run the server one more time so I just change it from a dot it should be uh, a column once we once we get the server running then we will try and publish an actual image another another what do you call this media okay the media URL settings might be with the slashes oh yeah this one we should have slashes here then we save this hopefully finally everything is working now yes it is now we will go back here and I will go to my admin admin page and here I will log in very quickly that's my username and my password is right once I did this now I will go to posts I will add a post and inside of this I already have my author I will choose an image file let me just grab any image file here I have already prepared some good image just to share it here and I put it in my what did I put it Let's go to my, my my GitHub. Any of these images here? Then I will open it. Okay. Now it's saving that image. 
and oh my goodness I changed it okay default now new post here this everything is safe 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 I will save that had it successfully I should be able to go my my Django site visit site and the image is still not showing I think and that is because I did not I did not uh, add the image to my I didn't call the image here so I was having this bad image but it's not supposed to be this one so the source is going to be it's going to be post you know previously when we take the author we say posted author here we are going to say post dot image dot url so that we just grab the url of the image I'll come back here, I will refresh I probably have to do a very hard refresh here or maybe I should, I should uh, create a new I should create a new um, instance or something like that. I should create a new uh, what do you call that? Um, a new post. So I'll go back to my admin, and then I will add new. I will choose which author. I will grab another image, a different one this time. Let's see. This thing images save and now view site I should have I should have it right here but it's still not showing if I go back and I will probably have some issues here with the 404 but then if I open my media file the folders are already showing up right here alright just figured that I spelled something wrong in here this should be doc document int I'll save that document root and I will go back again to my app probably have to go to the admin admin side add a new post same user I will pick this one choose the user still testing and I will publish that and let's go back and see if there is anything showing up nothing is showing up still probably another bigger error that we are facing alright now everything is actually working perfectly but I just had a very silly mistake here from the last time it's supposed to be image like just like that and that's why for it to match along with the this here image dot URL I probably need to um, quit the server and make some migration so wait I need to make migration And then once I do that, then I will do python manage.py migrate. Everything is done, migration is done. Now I will run back the server. And then I will I'll go back here, I will refresh this page. 
hopefully I get something done. Image attribute has no file associated with it. At least now we're getting somewhere. Let's go back here and find out why. Alright, and I think that we are getting this uh, error is because some of the images that we have, I mean some of the posts that we have do not have an image inside of it and that's why they're saying image attribute has no file associated with it. And to refactor that, we get to our code right here and we get to the post list.html and then we'll do a little uh, tricky thing here using Django templating and formatting we would say if post dot image it's like if we have a post dot image and it actually does exist get me the image source from the post dot image dot url I'll put that inside and then I will do another one uh, to end the if statement and if just like that and I will come back here and refresh this page now as you can see this is uh, refreshing back but wait I have a problem here what is going on why all of this is happening here why does it look so weird I believe something going on fishy on the CSS part of this so I will get back to my CSS folder then I will look for oh yeah this image post image and then I probably need to iterate until I get to the actual image and then I will save this and let me go back to my site refresh uh, yeah as you can see this one shrinked because the it doesn't have an image inside of it and before I was I was uh, having that place for just an empty space but that empty space empty space does not contain the image so it just shrank this is what, uh, what I was looking for and now it's perfectly and perfectly fine and nice looking good in the next uh, video we will be adding more uh, functionality to this website and we will be adding stuff that makes it even much more powerful and more robust that you can use this and show to other clients in the future and then you can tell them hey I made an Instagram clone I am job ready you can hire me and I will do something good for your company or stuff like that or any freelancing work that you want to do with all that being said this is Abdullah Ashraf thank you so much for watching I hope you found this really valuable and share with me what you think about this and also don't forget to subscribe and goodbye